But this also means that our students are exiting our unit with a variety of perspectives, in contrast with what we have right now, which is the one American teenager sitting in a desk perspective. So instead of simply asking them, how many Jews were killed in the Holocaust? How many Jews were killed in the Holocaust? How many Jews were killed in the Holocaust? We could ask them to give a deeper answer from their unique perspective. For example, a student who is a Japanese child can compare his country's response to the Holocaust with the German soldier's perspective of his country response and then contrast it with the American soldier and his perspective. Or perhaps our students are put back in their original homogenous groups and given different major events and each writes a small newspaper with the perspective from their geogra excuse me, geographic area. Much like a game, these experiences are deep. They require comprehensive mastery of content, not just rote memorization. And because they were more intrinsically motivated, this information is more likely to stick. Now, are there some simpler questions we might want them to know, like the date of Pearl Harbor? Yes, and maybe those come into play in smaller formative assessments along the way. Oh, but what about high stakes standardized